In this video, we are going to be opening my November sketch box and announcing the winner of last week's giveaway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Kelly. I do product reviews, tutorials, and tips for creative moms. So in today's video, like I said earlier, we're going to announce the winner of last week's giveaway, who is Sarah Holt. I will have her name pop up on the bottom of the screen here. I have sent you a message. Make sure you get back to me so I know where to ship this out to you. And once again, you guys, I wanna thank you so much for letting me hit this milestone. It seems like I was at 17 subscribers forever, so I really appreciate it and I appreciate you watching. Okay, so we're going to be unboxing my November Sketchbox today. And if you do not know what Sketchbox is, it is a monthly subscription box that gets delivered to your house on the first of every month. They have two packages to choose from, basic and premium. I chose premium because I wanted more premium products like Copic markers, luminance pencils, etc., etc. If you are into this kind of thing and you like art videos and tutorials and product reviews, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you really don't want to miss anything, make sure you hit that bell icon also. All right, so let's just go ahead and open my box. Okay, so let's um, take a look here at this November premium box. I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know that again that I am subscribed to the premium box and not the basic box. So this is November's box and we have Daniel Smith custom dot card. Oh, that's really cool. I guess it, this retails for $3 so you could actually buy that to see if you like those paints. And now we have the um, handbook watercolor journal and it says here that that is a staff favorite as well. It's about 95 pound paper in there. Then we have the cards, the art that comes with the box, some fluff. We have the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus Liquid Watercolor. This is also a staff favorite. Our lovely Sketchbox stickers. And the Sketchbox Signature Water Brush. Fine. And then what else do we have in here? We have the Faber-Castell Eco Pigment 0.6 millimeter. It's actually really, really nice, but I really liked it a lot. Mm -hmm, nice shape, nice thin point on there. And then we have the Princeton Velvet Touch Mini Filbert. That was a very good quality brush. It says that the retail price is $8.95. Um, so it's a high quality brush there. All right, so let's go ahead and start playing around with these. <clears throat> okay, so. Now the first thing I decided to play with was the um, the liquid watercolors and I basically just kind of wet the page and then added some water on the plate here up in the corner and then you can see this page is bowing and so I had to hold it down with that little rubber band thingy that keeps the journal closed and at this point I'm really just kind of I don't mess with watercolor that much and I have been researching watercolor because um, it just looks so fun and I'm really interested in it so I really like the ink tense line so I figured I would like watercolor as well so the two channels that I have been researching are um, the watercolor misfit and Kirsty Partridge art and I will leave links to both of their channels in the video description so you can check them out if you are interested in watercolor I know I am so I will be definitely practicing a lot with the watercolor okay and I'm just kind of farting around here to see how much liquid and color I can get on the paper to see how the paints move and things like that and then I just let that dry and then I decided to try out some pens that came with it and just basically you know that first page of any sketchbook is always a pain in the butt to fill because you feel like you have to have this masterpiece on it so I figured I would just do a uh, BS piece and just kind of fill it. My goal is to actually fill this journal. I'm actually going to call it a wreck -It journal uh, like the water watercolor misfit suggests so um, now I'm just kind of going to make a color chart of all of these colors that came on this little um, what do they call it? The dot card 
and see what the pigments look like after you apply the water to them. I highly recommend you guys do this for everything you do. I know it might not be, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but it's just something that makes life easier in the long run so you can actually easily identify what color you're actually looking for. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep making my color chart. And I actually, you guys, I really, really enjoyed this box. I was so excited that it was watercolors because it was like my next thing. I was trying to figure out which color, which watercolor brand I wanted to um, add to my Christmas list. And I was looking at the Windsor and Newton ones, and I don't know, these ones are in the running too because they were actually a lot of fun. All right, so now I'm applying some different techniques that I've learned. I just drew some circles in here, and I'm using the wet on wet method. Um, oh my god, I'm just apparently tongue-tied today. The wet on wet method um, is where you wet the paper and then you put wet paint on top. And then this is me experimenting with the water pen. Just trying to see which way I like to do. This is the wet paint on dry paper. You can also paint like that. Figured I'd do some flowers or something. Uh, just to, you know, flowers usually a quick, quick thing you want to do when you're just messing around. And now this is my first attempt at doing the salt. Apparently, you have to time it just right when you add the salt, at like a specific drying time to get the effect that I was looking for. And it didn't work out the first time or the second time. <laughs> and it kind of worked out the third time, so I'm definitely going to have to practice with that. And here I am, I'm going to try the salt again, and it's going to be another fail. I actually waited too long, and I think it was dry before I tried to do it. And now I'm doing like a splotchy, where you put the water down, and then you add drops of it in there, and you just kind of let the water do the work for you. And then I struggle to open my masking fluid for probably about an hour. Thank goodness this video is sped up so you don't get to see that. So I skipped it for a minute. And now I'm going to mess with the splatter effect. <clears throat> and I'm going to take a straw and blow it around and then fling the brush with the paint on me. <laughs> and I'm still struggling with this masking fluid, but I finally got it open. And uh, note to self, don't ever use the top of your masking fluid as like a little bowl to get the masking fluid out. Just dip it right in, otherwise it will be a pain in the butt. And then I'm waiting for that to dry. And I'm going to <clears throat> just apply a couple layers of paint just to kind of get another quick feel for this water pen here. I really like, I actually really like the water pen. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as just a regular um, paintbrush, but I really enjoyed that. And now I'm going to try the salt for the third time and I'm going to try a cloth or a paper towel. <laughs> Adding some more, and it still didn't come out fabulous, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of the whole salt thing. So at this point, like it's supposed to have like a really icy effect. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you have your own sketch box, I would love to know what you thought of November's box this month. Um, and also let me know which box you subscribe to. If it was something other than Sketchbox or which Sketchbox box you got, the basic or the premium, let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.